Welcome to lecture series on heterocyclic chemistry. In this lecture series, we are going to discuss about the chemistry of indole. In previous lecture, we have seen few methods for the synthesis of indole. In this indole lecture series is divided into three parts as far as the synthesis of indole is concerned. Here there is a list of total nine, nine main reactions involved in the synthesis of the indole. The first five reactions we have already discussed in the part one. Now in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss these three named reactions. One is a Bartoli indole synthesis, Gassman indole synthesis, Larock indole synthesis. And apart from these three named reactions, we will also discuss the applications of benzene chemistry for the synthesis of indole. And the last lecture after this will be dedicated to the Fischer indole synthesis. Now before starting for the actual discussion on these four methods, three methods, that's a Bartoli indole, Gassman indole and Larock indole synthesis, which is a part of today's discussion. Let us have a revision on what we have learned in the previous class. In previous class, we have completed five synthesis of indole. One is a Rizard indole synthesis, the Medlung synthesis, the Bessler indole synthesis, Nenezescu indole synthesis and Batko Limgruber indole synthesis. Now, in all these cases, we are going to start with the appropriately substrate benzene. In these three methods, Rizert, Medlung and Batko Limgruber, we are starting with the ortho substrate benzenes and therefore, we have to make an arrangement for only one carbon atom here. So, diethyl oxalate and this NN dimethyl formamide acetal type of the substrate was utilized. Then it undergoes a condensation to form this ketoester. Here it forms an enamine and then under reductive cyclations we get the indole molecule. Similarly, in the Medlung synthesis, we are starting with also orthoalkyl analytes which under uh, high temperature as well as under strong basic conditions forms here indole. Then in Bissler, in Bissler indole synthesis, we start with the alpha aloketone and then aniline, we get here alpha aryl amino ketone which undergo Friedel-Crafts type of the cyclization to form this indole. Nenezescu synthesis is particularly useful for the synthesis of 5-hydroxy indole which is very abundant in the natural products. It involves a condensation of uh, benzoquinone with enamine to form here 5-hydroxy indole. So this five methodologies we have discussed in the previous class. Now in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about the Bartoli indole synthesis, Gassman indole synthesis and Larock indole synthesis. Bartoli indole synthesis um, is a very meticulous synthesis of indole involving the reactions of again orthonitrotoluene with vinyl magnesium bromide. It forms here seven substrate indole. This CS3 is not taking part in a reaction. Here it is getting cyclized on this side of the portion and we get here seven substrate indole. It is observed that three or four substrate nitrobenzene provided either no indole products or indole in poor yields. This reaction is particularly success successful when the ortho position is blocked in nitrobenzenes. Now the mechanism of this reaction is very interesting. Here three equivalents of the vinyl magnesium bromide is required. One equivalent acts as a reducing agent which converts nitrobenzene to the nitrosobenzene. Another molecule acts as a nucleophile which is utilized in the final indole framework. The third equivalent acts as a base which is useful in the re-aromatization of the aromatic ring. So this is the reaction mechanism of the Bartoli synthesis. In the first case, it acts as it attacks on this oxygen and we get here vinyl ether type of the substrate. And this, it, this is decomposed, it's vinyl Alkoxy group is a very good living group and here we get conversions of nitrobenzene to the nitrosoarene. So reduction reactions occur due to its reaction with the first equivalent of the vinyl magnesium bromide. Then the second uh, equivalent of the vinyl magnesium bromide gets added across this N double bond O where the oxygen gets added to the vinyl group. Then we get here this intermediate and this intermediate uh, undergo a very characteristic reactions involving a nitrogen oxygen bond cleavage as well as a carbon carbon bond formation and it is proceeding through the 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement it's a pericyclic reactions involving a concerted pathway it is a very important reaction as far as the mechanism is concerned here two things are happening in one pot carbon carbon bond is established here as well as the nitrogen oxygen bond is cleaved and then uh, here it undergoes subsequent uh, uh, cyclization to form here this five membered ring and it is described as a phi exotric according to the Baldwin nomenclature because a five membered ring is formed by attack on nucleophilic nitrogen on the trigonal carbon and it is opening on outside here and that's why it's a phi exotric cyclization. 
Later on, third equivalent of the vinyl magnesium bromide helps to uh, maintain the aromatization of this benzene ring and uh, then aqueous workup results in the formation of your seven substrate indole. So this is a very interesting mechanism of Bartoli indole synthesis where three equivalents of vinyl magnesium bromides are required. One act as a reducing agent, second act as a requisite nucleophile and the third one is acting as a base. This Bartoli indole synthesis is successful only when uh, the ortho positions of the nitro group is blocked here. So ortho nitro, ortho substrate nitro benzenes are the substrate here. And as a result of that, the seven substrate indole can be prepared with the help of Bartoli indole synthesis. So its reactions with the vinyl magnesium bromide, we get here this seven substrate indole here. Here also we get a seven substrate indole. Then here uh, post modifications of this uh, this phenolic uh, ether is carried out by some preliminary reactions here the reduction occurs here debenzylation type of the reaction will occur and then in presence of a base it will form a carbon carbon bond similarly here uh, one can form a decorated orthonitro benzene by using uh, lithiation chemistry here exchange of lithium exchange of bromine will occur here it will be lithiated and then it's metallation will occur here and then we'll get a carbon carbon bond forming reactions and then uh, its reactions with vinyl magnesium bromide will give you a seven substrate indole similarly here also the seven substrate indole is formed and related to the yields are good here 88 percent here is a 68 percent yield of seven substrate indole now sometimes uh, we may not require a seven substrate uh, seven substituent here so in that case one can use here bromonitrobenzene ortho bromonitrobenzene type of the substrate so if you perform here Bartoli indole synthesis, we'll get here seven substrate indole and later on this bromine can be re removed by tributyltin hydride reductions by using as azoisobutonitrile as an initiator to form here 94% yield of this indole molecule. So in, indole, in Bartoli indole synthesis, we have seen reactions of the vinyl magnesium bromide with the ortho substrate nitrobenzene. Now the next methodology is again based upon the pericyclic reaction here. Uh, this it is called as a gasmon indole synthesis in gasmon indole synthesis there's a sequential additions of tertiary butyl hypochlorite uh, then beta ketosulfite as well as base so there's a sequential addition of these three components to the aniline to form thioalkoc three thioalkoxy indole here is a example given 69 percent yield of the thioalkoxy two methyl indole is formed here now this reaction is successful because of the sulfur chemistry and sometimes we may not require a sulfur in that case the sulfur can be removed by using rane nickel desulfurizations so in this way we have prepared here a two substrate indole here two methyl indole can be prepared with the help of gasmon indole synthesis the mechanism of this reaction is very interesting to discuss first of all a tertiary butyl hypochlorite which is a source of cl plus uh, will perform here N chlorination and this particular reaction is carried out at very low temperature. So after forming of N chloramine, it reacts with the sulfur nucleophile and chlorine is displaced here and we get a sulfonium salt. And this sulfonium salt is to some extent acidic in nature. So its reactions with the triethylamine will generate here a carbanion. This carbanion is stabilized by now sulfur plus positive charge sulfur and that's why it is called as an elite. Now this elite undergo a very crucial pericyclic pathway. It is called as a 2-3 sigma tropic rearrangement or it is also called as a somlet oxygen rearrangement. Through this 2-3 through this sigma tropic rearrangement, a carbon-carbon bond is established as well as a nitrogen sulfur bond is also cleaved here. Then in the subsequent uh, transformation, we get aromatization as well as a cyclo, uh, cyclization, 5-exotric cyclization to form the indole derivative here. And then uh, this will undergo a dehydration to form th three thioalkoxy indole molecule. So in this case, uh, the, the success of this reaction is due to the sulfur elite formation. Sulfur elite undergo a very characteristic reaction called as a two three sigma tropic arrangement. That's a somlet hostile arrangement, and that's why this reaction is successful. Now these are the various example. Uh, one can start with the appropriately substrate benzene ring and a wide range of substituents can be tolerated in the reactions and the yield of the indole is also achieved in very high yield as far as this gasmon indole synthesis is concerned. Then this methodology can be extended to the aryl ketone thioethers. 
if it is treated with uh, instead of this one um, beta ketothiosulfide if we do this perform here reactions with the ketone or aryl ketone then introductions of two phenyl group can be achieved at two positions of indole now if this alpha position if this alpha position is occupied by an alkyl group here then again here gasman indole synthesis is successful but here we do not get a completely aromatized system and this mechanism of this reaction is again similar to what we have seen in previous cases so here uh, di here this is a saturated carbon it's not a completely aromatic system it is called as indolenin derivative and this indolenin derivative can be reduced with lithium aluminum hydride to form dimethyl 2,3 dimethyl indole this is also 2,3 disulfate indole derivative so in this way we have learned two important reaction one is a Bartol indole synthesis and is a Gassman indole synthesis and in both the cases what is important is a 3,3 sigma tropic reagent and a 2,3 sigma tropic reagent here in Gassman indole synthesis is a sulfur elide is there it's a 2,3 sigma tropic reagent whereas in Bartol indole synthesis is a 3,3 sigma tropic reagent and the next one here is a Fischer indole synthesis here is also 3,3 sigma tropic reagent that we will discuss in a previous class so through this pericyclic pathway it is very sure the carbon carbon bond is established here and the heteroatom heteroatom bond particularly the nitrogen 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 oxygen nitrogen sulfur bond is glued so these are very interesting kind of processes involved in the synthesis of the indole now the last methodology of this lecture is a layer of indole synthesis it's a, to some extent a modern method for the synthesis of indole with the advent of transition metal catalyst in organic synthesis, the heterocyclic chemistry is completely revolutionized. And here is a, one of the notable synthesis of indole. It is called as a Laroc indole synthesis, reported in the year 1991. It is called as a heteroannulation reaction. Here we get annulations of the benzene ring and we have to start with the orthoidoaniline. Ortho when this orthoidoaniline is treated with the alkyne in presence of a palladium salt and some base, we get here formations of indole this reaction is flexible because one can vary these components here as well as one can start with the substrate benzene ring also these are some of the classic example of laroc indole synthesis here the ps group generally the bulkier group between r2 and r3 uh, it is the uh, bulkier group is nearer to the nitrogen here it's at the two position here the two phenyl indole is achieved here here again uh, we get the synthesis of indole in a 98 percent yield and this methodology can be extended to the synthesis of benzofiron instead of orthoidoaniline if you take orthoidophenol again we are getting a benzofiron derivative that is in a 90 percent yield now let us discuss the mechanism of this reaction It's very interesting reaction uh, it's a transition metal catalyzed reaction and everything occurs on the cordygen sphere of the palladium and for that uh, we have to um, uh, this palladium will bind this organic ligands on its cordogen sphere through certain processes like oxidative addition, ligand exchange and later on it will form a carbon-carbon bond forming reactions as well as a carbon-nitrogen bond forming reactions. So let us see how reaction proceeds. In this case palladium 2 is a catalyst here. Palladium 2 species is involved here. So palladium 2 undergo pre-activation process by using some bases or some ligands like triphenyl phosphine and we get here palladium zero species. Palladium zero species contains 14 electrons in the outermost shell. It's a coordinately unsaturated. And this palladium zero species um, can react with the chloride. Sometimes, sometimes the lithium chloride is added in the reaction, and it is necessary for necessary, it is necessary for reproducibility as well as for high yield of the reaction. So one of the ligand exchanges with this, and we get here attachment of chlorine on the coordination sphere of the palladium. Now again the palladium is in a zero oxygen state with 14 electrons uh, and therefore it is a coordinately unsaturation. It will try to achieve the 18 electron configuration. So it undergo an oxidative addition process. The palladium is inserted between carbon and iodine and we get here attachment of one organic ligand to the palladium here. Here for this it is utilizing the two electrons and therefore it is oxidizing from palladium zero to the palladium two. It is a 16 electron species now. Now this 16 electron species will undergo ligand exchange. These ligands are very labile and on uh, exchange uh, this palladium will bind to this alkyne. Now after this is a very important stage of the mechanism where uh, we find that the palladium has bound uh, two reacting 
organic ligands one is a aryl and another is a alkyne then here the migrations of uh, one organic ligand from palladium to the alkyne occurs here and the process is called as a carbopalladiation and in this carbopalladiation the largest substituent is usually at the r2 so here r3 should be of minimum steric size and here we get a palladiation reactions this between the palladium and the carbon between the palladium and this carbon atom this alkyne group is inserted it is called as a carbopalladiation and then this nitrogen also coordinates with the palladium now in this way uh, this two nitrogen and carbon bond is about to form here and they are uh, bind they are bound uh, to the coordination sphere of the palladium and later on the palladium removes from its coordination sphere through a process called as reductive eliminations and we get here endosynthesis so and again the palladium zero is generated and this catalytic cycle continues here it's a very important mechanism and it gives an opportunity it gives an opportunity to revise certain basics in the organometallic chemistry and therefore the student should undertake writing the mechanism of layer of endosynthesis now here there are here there is some classic example of uh, some uh, transition metal catalyzed endosynthesis here uh, is a enamine is formed very easily in presence of an acid starting from orthobromoaniline on reaction of the dimidon forms an enamine and this enamine now undergo a cc bond coupling reactions with the help of palladium to some extent it is you we may call it as a hague coupling reaction similarly here a nitrogen uh, carbon coupling occurs with the palladium and then the carbon carbon bond forming reactions are observed here here also we observe here uh, insertions of palladium then we'll get a carbon carbon bond and later on it will tautomerize to this now here is a, a apart from this lab transition metal catalyzed uh, catalyst in organic synthesis here is a applications of benzene chemistry for the synthesis of indole this can be prepared very easily by uh, reactions of cyclohexanone with the appropriate amine and then this uh, on reactions with the sodamide generates here a benzene sodamide is a very strong base it generates a benzene and to that benzene the carbanion is added and we get the indole derivative similarly here also we get here a benzene here the fluorine and hydrogen both of them are removed removed we get a benzene here and here the lithiation occurs so internal nucleophile here the lithiation occurs at two position one at this one and this here then this lithiated carbon atom attacks to attacks on this triple bond and here we get again carbanion this carbanion can be trapped with the help of acetone and we get here substrate indole so benzene chemistry is uh, sometimes also very useful in the synthesis of the indole molecule so in this way we have learned three name reactions uh, for the synthesis of indole one is a bartol indole synthesis which involves which employs vinyl magnesium bromide as a uh, substrate second involves a gasman indole synthesis where the sulfur elide chemistry is involved next methodology is a larox synthesis where the palladium chemistry uh, is employed it's a carbopalladiation it's annulation heteroannulation reactions so in this way we have learnt uh, these three methodologies and some examples of benzene chemistry for the synthesis of indole now let us uh, see some problems on this indole chemistry students should undertake some practice of writing the reaction mechanism here is a mechanism of the gasman indole synthesis uh, then this is a bartol indole synthesis this is also the gasman indole synthesis These details are already discussed in a previous slides and therefore students should try to write the write down the mechanism of these reactions at home then uh, the second variety of the problem is spread the product of the following reaction with suitable justification here the um, here the bartoli reaction is successful with the ortho nitro benzene and sometimes this ortho portion is not necessary and therefore we start with the bromo compound we get a 7 bromo indole derivative here later on this bromine can be removed with tributyl tin hydride we already discussed it here then this is a hake type of the coupling this is also the hake type of the coupling that's applications of transition metals for the synthesis of for the synthesis of um, uh, indole molecules so in this way uh, we have completed the discussions on three important name reactions for the synthesis of indole in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the fischer indole synthesis Thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you very much.